What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the fourth and final mystery box for me. I have been taking you guys on a little bit of a roller coaster ride with these mystery boxes. And the first one that I shared with you was the craft mystery box. And for me, that one was a complete fail because I'm just not a scrapbooker and they sent a lot of scrapbooking stuff. So the second one was a jewelry mystery box and that one was terrible for me. Like that just went really bad. I will definitely not be doing another one of those. And the third one that I shared with you guys was a clothes mystery box. And you know what? That one went surprisingly well. I mean, the clothes weren't like, oh, so trendy and awesome clothes. But you know what? They weren't bad for a $20 mystery box of clothes. So I probably will do another one of those again because that was super fun. And you know, for 20 bucks, it's a gamble, but you know, it's a fun kind of a gamble. So I probably will do another one of those again. Now, today's mystery box is the one that I am the most excited about. It's the shoe mystery box. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this one. So when you're shopping on eBay and you're looking for these random mystery boxes, for the other ones that I just reviewed with you guys, you can put in those specific things and a lot of different options for the mystery boxes will come up for you. But for the shoe one, you can put in shoe mystery box, but you're not going to get the options that you're probably trying to get. And I found that out when I was on there searching. So what you need to put in if you want a mystery box of shoes is wholesale shoe lot. And that will give you a lot of different options. And you can just decide from the many options that are out there. There's, there's quite a few. I mean, there's not like a ton, but there's a few different options that you can select. And you just find whichever price range is best for you and go with that. So the one that I selected, which I will link in the description box below, should you guys decide that you want to get one of these from this seller, is the cost for the lot. You get 10 pairs in the lot, okay? It was $55 for the cost of the lot of shoes. But shoes are expensive to ship, as everybody knows. So you're getting 10 pairs of shoes in this lot. So the cost was $43.95 to ship the lot. So now you're in it at $98.95 total for this lot of shoes, okay? Now, if you want the option to select a specific size, which is what I did because I wanted the shoes for myself, a lot of people buy buy these wholesale lots. I mean, it's a wholesale lot. So a lot of people buy these lots to resell. So they're not interested. It doesn't matter to them what size the shoes are. Well, it does, but it doesn't. I mean, they want sizes that sell very good. So maybe that's why they have this option for people to select a specific size. Most people aren't buying 10 pairs of shoes for themselves every single time. But at any rate, I went ahead and selected my size, which was a size six. In order to do that, that was an additional $20. So now you're in it for $118.95. So my mistake was I did that. I told them that I wanted to select a specific size after I checked out. I needed to tell them that before I checked out so that they could invoice me the proper amount for the total cost, including the shoe selection size. So because I did it after, they had to send me a separate thing through PayPal. So I had to pay the $3.30 PayPal fee. <laughs> so now I'm in it $122.25 total for all of these pairs of shoes. Now, the final thing that I want to let you guys know, if you decide to do this, you can say that you want them shipped without the shoe boxes. If you select that option with this seller, they will send you an additional pair of shoes. Just like, hey, you're saving on shipping, so we'll just throw in another pair. I did that, of course, because I had no intention of reselling these because I did see the options that this seller had and I had talked with them and I told them what I was looking for. Now, you can't pick your shoes. You, this is random. Like, they pick everything for you. And I said, I want the highest heels you have. If it's possible, select the highest heels that you have. That is what I want you to put in my box. So... After seeing what, you know, options they had there, I felt pretty confident that I was going to get a decent box, and I hope that I do. So at any rate, um, I ended up getting 11 pairs of shoes for $122.25, which breaks down to $11.12 per shoe. 
So that's not bad. I mean, it's right in my range where I'd like to pay for shoes about $10 or less. So I mean, we're right there. We're on point as far as all that goes. So I mean, as long as I send shoes that I can wear, I will be very happy with this purchase. And I'm so excited because it's like Christmas for me. Like you don't know what you're going to get. And the box arrived and it is huge. Now it didn't come in like a professional kind of a box, which I was kind of expecting because I'm buying from somebody who um, does this for a living selling wholesale shoes. So I was expecting like, I don't know, some kind of company box or something like that, but that's not what it came in. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> that's fine. At any rate, I am going to open the box with you guys. I haven't checked it out at all yet, but spoiler alert, I did film the uh, shoe unboxing a different day from this because I knew as soon as those shoes came in, I'd want to film it. So I'm going to have different clothes on, different get up and all that kind of stuff for the unboxing. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and review each pair of shoes, just telling you guys my thoughts about each and every single pair that I got. So now that I got all of that boring stuff out of the way and you guys kind of sort of know what the process is, should you like to do something like this, let's see what's in the box. I am so excited. So let's do that. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is the box that they sent them in. So, you know, the box doesn't leave a lot for desire. I don't even know what that says on the front there. But anyways, um, as I stated in the intro, I opted to have them ship without boxes so that I could get that extra pair of shoes. Because you know me, I always want the best deal. So I broke the seal, but I haven't looked inside yet. So you guys are going to be just as surprised as I am to see what's in this box. And I'm dying to see what is in this box. So let's get started. All right. I'm going to move it off to the side here to make things, um, you know, so you can see. Hmm. Packing. More packing. Okay. Now we're getting into some stuff here. Okay. Ah, you know, it's just a basic um, black shoe. You know, it's got like fuzzy stuff on the bottom of it. So, I mean, that's different and it's cute. Does it look to be six inches? Probably about five. So, you know, there's those. Okay. So let's jump in here. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, oh, not a very high heel. It's like three inches. The shoe itself is cute. The heel is not high enough for me. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going to get more exciting here. Let's step to the side so that we can see what's happening here. Okay, so this one is also, ugh, they're so low, guys. I want high. I mean, I want high. In the listing, I saw high. These are very high. Cute. Super cute. I'll zoom in on all this stuff for you guys. But uh, yeah, they, these are really cute. They got some nice details on them and stuff like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh. Let's see here. That's been really good. Okay, so ooh, these ones are cute too, but the heels are so, look how low these heels are. Oh, disappointed in the height, but I like the style. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Maybe they'll get higher. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, these are cute, huh? Ooh. We got a little peep toe happening there. That's cute. Got like a brown, I don't know what that is, like an alligator print. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, and then little studs on them. So these are cute. Looks to be about maybe a five incher. So yeah, that's good. I'm a little better. What is this, the bonus pair they sent me? <laughs> I stressed that I wanted heels and I stressed a size six and these don't look to be either. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my coal. Okay, uh, these are cute, but I keep like pulling it, but nothing's happening. <laughs> 
Okay, so, um, again, they're cute, but I don't know. The heel's not high enough. Wow, these just aren't very exciting compared to what I saw on their site. I'm getting disappointed. Okay, trying to keep my cool here. Trying. It's the other one of these, so... Okay, these are cute. Yeah, these are cute. Look, we got like a cool zipper situation happening here. Some fuzziness. Probably at least five inches. Okay. Okay. It's better. All right. I'm just trying to keep them all up here so we can do a count when I'm finished. I mean, these are cute, but they're not a size, well, they are a size six. They don't look like it. They look much bigger than a six and they're flat. I stressed heels. I mean, I stressed it. And these are probably like a cute gladiator style, but they're flat. I'll never wear these. Never. <sighs> Guys. He's got like skulls on him or something. Kind of like Day of the Dead situation. Flat. Okay, these are cute. Ooh, I like these a lot. I really like these. These are really cute. All right, I'm digging these ones. Um, Looks to be at least five inches. I don't know what the obsession is with the hair. It's kind of weird. But yeah, so I think yeah, the last pair. Let's set this aside <laughs> and let's do a count here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. They did get the amount promised, but they didn't get all heels. Like I specifically stated, like specifically, several times talking back and forth with this seller. Um, I'm disappointed. <laughs> so um, let's just jump into my final thoughts. <laughs> okay, guys. So. In that last clip, I know I told you guys that I was going to jump into my final thoughts, but I'm actually going to go ahead and review each and every single pair of shoes that I got in the box. I'm going to go over with you guys the ones that I'm not going to keep and the ones that I am going to keep. And then I'm just going to give you my actual thoughts about the shoe after I tried it on, watch around a little bit, and just let you know what I think about them. So so, it's not really going to be final thoughts just yet, but uh, I definitely wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that I'm going to go ahead and review each pair of shoes, so let's do that now. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're going to start with the pairs of shoes that I'm not keeping. For sure, not keeping. They didn't stand a chance. As soon as I saw them, I was not going to keep them. <laughs> Can I make that any more clear to you guys? At any rate, we're going to go ahead and start with all of the pairs of shoes that I'm not going to keep. And I'm going to rank them just as I would any shoe lot that I get from my least favorite to my favorite pairs of shoes. So we're going to start with my least favorite pair, which is... <laughs> This one. So when I put this shoe on, obviously guys, I wear heels all the time. So I was extremely uncomfortable when I put this shoe on. Like it was, it was really terrible. So at any rate, I still went ahead, put it on, walked around a little bit, just so I can give you guys my honest review of the shoe. And I can tell you right now, it was extremely slippery. This bottom is very slick. I was slipping and sliding all over the place. So I wasn't a fan of that. I did love the fact that it zips up in the back here. So I was able to unzip the whole thing and I just like stick my foot in there because the lace is already laced on the inside here. So that was actually really nice. But what I did find out with this gladiator style heel is that you really need to make sure that you're lacing it up just below the knee and leaving it there. Like I went a little bit above the knee and the laces just kept falling down. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're lacing it up just um, below the knee so that the laces stay sort of and then sort of kind of in place. <laughs> 
still not really. At any rate, uh, the other thing about this shoe is that it runs big because, I mean, my foot was definitely falling out of the shoe. So if I was to get this shoe, which we know is not going to happen, but if I was ever to purchase a shoe like this from this brand, I would definitely need to size down. So just keep that in mind that I feel that the sizes run big because this is a six and it was bit too big for me. And that is the size that I normally wear. So overall, um, for me, this shoe was just not something that I would buy, but I'm going to attempt to sell it. <laughs> So if anybody's interested in this shoe, it's going to be for sale. I'm going to go over all of uh, the methods uh, that I'm going to do for selling these shoes at the very end, but this one's definitely going up for sale. So let's move on to the next pair. Okay, guys, so this next shoe is also the same brand as the shoe that I just showed you. It is the Taylor Says shoe, so shocker, it's going to run big, but here it is. It is the red pair, and you know what? Overall, this is actually a cute shoe if you want a flat pair of shoes. The shoe itself is really cute. I like these little... um what do you call those spikes i like these two little spikes that they have here and you know what they're actually quite dull so they're not going to like hurt you or anything like that because i have some shoes that will cut you in half <laughs> that have spikes on them and these ones aren't like that at all so i mean that's actually a really good feature and it's a cute little element to the shoe um again it was big for me so my foot was falling out of it and also the bottom was a little bit better on this one but still a little bit slippery so i really wasn't a fan of the bottom of the shoe it's a nice um red velvet material so i mean overall yes it's a cute shoe if you like flats but just keep in mind if you're going to buy this brand you're definitely going to want to size down <laughs> so that's my review of this one and let's move on to the next <laughs> Okay, so for this next pair of shoes, I feel like I have to show both of them to you so you guys can really get the vibe for what these shoes are like. And again, they are from the same brand, Taylor Says, and it's this pair. So with this pair, as you can see, you get this really cool rose one on one foot and you have a skull on another foot. And the backs are very much like the same. The backs and the sides are the same. So the only difference is the front part of the shoe. But I actually think that's really cool. So I mean, if they had these shoes, this exact style of shoes and a heel, I'd probably buy it. I mean, I think it's really cool. So um, these shoes also were extremely big. I mean, they were flopping off of me because again, you need to size down if you're gonna get um, um, this brand of shoes but you know what this bottom was actually not slippery at all looks like it would be but it actually wasn't slick at all so that was a good thing I felt like the bottom was um, good and you know what they were actually really comfortable you know I have a friend of mine Karen if you're watching hello I think these would be great for her if they didn't have the skull on them I think that she would like just like two roses and I think she would definitely wear them but um, the skull kind of would throw everything off for her I don't think that would be her thing but if I could just turn this into a rose and these were her size I bet you she'd wear them <laughs> so at any rate I think these ones are really cute um I would definitely wear these if they were heels but unfortunately they're not so these obviously are going to go into the sale pile so let's move on to the next pair <laughs> Okay, guys, so now we're going to start moving into a little bit of the heel style shoes. And for me, I like my heels at least six inches. And there were three pairs that I got in this lot that were actually under four inches. So those weren't happening. No matter how cute they are, I know that I'm not going to wear them. So we're going to put them up for sale. So the first pair out of the ones that were heels that were my least favorite is this pair here. So we have this really beautiful gold crystal you get in all the crystals and stuff on the shoe so cute I mean the shoe itself is actually really cute and the heel is just under four inches so obviously that's not anything that I would wear but if you like um a lower kind of a heel this would be a great heel for you if it was comfortable <laughs> I mean, this one just wasn't comfortable to me. You know what? Uh, the brand is Celeste. And if you guys watched my thread up video where I got a pair of shoes that were Celeste brand shoes that were definitely not what I expected at all. So I sent them back and it actually prompted me to send a ton of other pairs of shoes back. I was so mad about those shoes. I'm just not really impressed with this brand at all. Um, it seems like they like to work off of gold tones and silver tones and they kind of sometimes like to play the gold and the silver together, which I think is great. I just don't feel like they designed their shoes well for wearing. 
so to speak. I mean, they're just not very comfortable. So I also felt that this was a little bit big on me. So if I was to get this exact shoe, I would definitely want it in a size five, not a size six. So it runs big. It's not comfortable to me to wear. Maybe if it was the right size, it would have been a little bit more comfortable. I don't know. Overall, I'm not super impressed with this shoe, but you know, if you want all those things that I said that were negative in a shoe, then it's going to be for sale if you guys want to buy it. <laughs> So let's move on to my next pair. Okay, guys. So the next pair of shoes, I was really excited about it when I unboxed it, even though I knew I wasn't going to keep it because the heel height was definitely not the right size for me. But I thought that it would be okay and easier for me to resell the shoe until I really started looking at it and seeing a ton of flaws on the shoe. And that shoe was this shoe again a Celeste brand shoe and I was really excited about like all these super fun crystally details on this shoe I mean look at that that's super fun but if you look at this one right here this little flap I'm not sure if you guys are going to get this as much as I would love to show it to you <laughs> but it's coming apart okay see how it's coming apart there so I can stitch that back down which I plan to do I'm going to go ahead and stitch it back down with some clear thread but I'm going to add that to my listing that I had to repair the shoe already so that they're aware in case that should come off again I don't want them to be disappointed with their purchase and on top of that the look they have some yellowing going on on the shoe here and it's in various different parts of the shoe on both shoes and if you look close here there's some crystals missing in the back I mean this is going to be really difficult for me to resell which really stinks. Um, and I said all of the shoes that I was about to show you were under four inches, but this pair is actually a little over four inches, but just under four and a half inches. So, I mean, it's a little bit higher, but you know, whatever. So on top of that, it was also big on me. So I'd probably definitely size down in this shoe. And this bottom here, it's like a velvet kind of thing. And I was sliding everywhere. So, you know, I am just not a fan of this brand, clearly, um, so far. <laughs> I'm not happy with any of the shoes that I've tried from them. So I love their play off on like the me metallic metal type situation with the gold and the silver. But um, I just am not a fan of the comfort of the shoes. So I don't know, they're a strike down for me. I'm going to attempt to resell these, but it's going to be difficult. Like I said, even though they're brand new shoes, they've only been tried on, but not actually worn. I just feel like they're going to be hard to sell because they are full of flaws. So I don't know, I'm going to list them guys. So if you're interested in this pair of shoes, even though I said all those negative things, it's going to be for sale. <laughs> Let's move on to the next pair. Okay guys, so this is the final pair that I'm not going to keep and it also is the Celeste brand shoe, but I don't have as much negative things to say about this shoe as I did the other one. So that's a good thing, right? And that pair of shoes is this one. So I actually really love the style of this shoe. It's so awesome with the gold studs here. Then you have like a pewter chain situation here and then they have the rhinestones and the whole shoe itself is silver and then they added these cool indentations on the back of the heel, kind of like when you would do those uh, metal like pieces of art or something like that really cool I'm loving all the details on this shoe and believe it or not it has a good rubber sole on this one so you're not going anywhere this is really good rubber sole so they did great with this shoe and believe it or not it was extremely comfortable and the right size it's like the first two were like their first try at shoes and then they finally got it right the third time I don't know but this shoe fit me great it was extremely comfortable I love it uh except for the heel height I mean the heel height was what was it just under five inches I think and it's still too low for me and I'm definitely not going to keep the shoe even though it's close to five inches I just mm, I'm definitely not going to keep it but it also had some of those same flaws with like the yellowing on the shoe so I mean that might make it a little bit difficult for me to sell but everything else was like, great about this shoe I mean it was so comfortable it was good if it was a higher heel I would definitely keep it so this brand isn't off my list just yet because they did great with this shoe. So maybe it's just hit or miss with this brand. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so this one's going to be up for sale too. So if you're size six, this one was actually good. <laughs> Let's move on to the shoes that I'm actually going to keep. <laughs> Okay, guys, so now we're into the pairs of shoes that I've decided to keep. There are five pairs out of the 11 pairs that I got that I'm going to go ahead and keep. Now, I have to admit that I wasn't really excited about any of the shoes that I decided to keep, but I decided that I'm going to go ahead and keep them because they were comfortable. They'll work. I mean, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and start with my least favorite pair of shoes from the ones that I've decided to keep. And that pair is 
this one. So in all honesty, I had this in the sale pile initially until I put it on. And I was like, you know what? This shoe doesn't look bad. It's actually really comfortable. And I liked it. So I went ahead and decided to keep it. It is a little over five inches. But the thing that was a turnoff for me on this shoe, which actually turned out being okay, was like the style of the heel. Like, I don't know how I feel about this rectangular square, I don't know, heel situation. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. It has these really cool like gems inside this funky looking heel but I don't know I wasn't sure how I felt about it but after I put it on I really liked the way it looked so I decided decided to keep them now on the front here we have some like little I don't know I guess they're little silver stud situation I mean that's a nice detail it's like a tan like suede type material which is nice frh is the brand they're actually really comfortable to wear the bottom sucks though because it's a uh, velvet so i'll probably have to put a gripper on there but other than that i mean these shoes were fine so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and keep them even though initially i thought i was gonna sell them <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and keep them so this is pair to keep number one let's move on to the next pair Okay, guys, so this next pair of shoes was actually my favorite pair looks-wise, but when I put it on, it was actually a little bit big, so that's why I ranked it so low because I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to do some tweaking to make this one work, but I did decide to keep it, and that pair of shoes is this one. So I love how they have this, I don't know, they got some fur stuff happening here. Pretty sure it's fake. It better be fake. I guess I better look that up because I don't want to wear real anything when it comes to animal stuff. At any rate, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fake. So they have this fur situation happening here, and I guess it's supposed to be like a pony or a cow print type thing. Super cute. I mean, I really like that. It's super cute. Um, and then it's like a scallopy, like ivory type situation. The brand is Kate Ferguson. So, I mean, it's a five and a half inch heel. I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. I really like this shoe. It's so cute, but it was a little big. Yeah. So when I put it on, ah, that's why it's big. It's a six and a half. I told them sixes. That really infuriates me. They sent me a six and a half instead of a six makes me mad. I didn't know that because I really thought they were all sixes and just assumed that they were. But now that I'm looking in the inside, it definitely says 6.5. So that would be why they're a little big. But I feel like I can make these work. So I am going to go ahead and keep them. But I was unaware that they were a six and a half. So they probably do run true to size. So with that, there you go. <laughs> At any rate, we're going to go ahead and keep this pair. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys. So this next pair of shoes, I was like... When I saw it, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. And after I put it on, I was like, yes, we're definitely going to keep it. And that pair is this one. So I don't know. I feel like the leopard print on this just looks kind of weird to me. I, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it at first, but when I put it on, I really liked it. And it has this really cool, like, red peep toe happening. Super cute. They fit great. They were really comfortable. Veda, I guess is how you pronounce this. Veda Soul is the brand of the shoe. It is a five and a half inch heel, which is really nice. I mean, I wish it was six, but... I'll take a five and a half and it's got like a I don't know what you call this it's like an alligator alligator or crocodile type uh, print on the back of the shoe and like a really brown color and I just noticed that it's damaged awesome I see a lot of these pairs of shoes are coming in damaged but uh anyways they have some really nice gold studs on them so I was loving that I mean it was comfortable. It was definitely a comfortable shoe to wear. Uh, the bottom is not good. It's the velvet situation. So I'm definitely going to need grippers. But other than that, it was a comfortable shoe and I'm good with it. So I decided to go ahead and keep it. I mean, $11.10. I'll go ahead and keep it. I'm sure that I will wear it. But I just wasn't sure about this leopard print. I don't know. I like leopard print, but I don't know. This one just looks a little weird to me. But, you know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to wear it. So let's move on. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this next pair was the highest, I think, of all of the heels that I got. So I was like, yes, I just have to keep these for that reason alone, right? And that pair is this one. So I love this whole fur situation. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I think it's pretty cool. And it has this fake zipper on the back. It does not work. It's got like, you know, it's threaded shut right here. So you can't um, zip and unzip it. But uh, yeah, I think that's really cute. But otherwise, it's just a basic black shoe without this detail on the back. It is just shy of six inches, which is fine. And I was a little upset because it was a little big on me, but I decided to look inside the shoe and saw that it was a six and a half. <laughs> so they sent me two six and a half 
when I said six and I paid twenty dollars for sixes. Just saying, I think it's already clear. Before you get to my final thoughts, I probably won't be ordering from them again unless it's directly to resell. At any rate, it is Kate Ferguson brand, and I believe that this brand runs true to size because these are just a little big. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I'm sure I can tweak them and make them work, even though they're half size too big. So yeah, I like this little, you know, thing at the top here. That's kind of cool too. I don't know. I like this shoe, but I'm not in love with this shoe. So it is ranking pretty darn high though, because it's like next to the best. <laughs> and the best isn't really that great. So let's do that now. <laughs> Okay, guys, normally this is the part where I'm like, and the grand finale shoe is. But we're not doing that this time because the grand finale shoe is okay, but it's not that great. It doesn't deserve me getting all out of breath dancing and stuff, right? <laughs> so the grand finale shoe for this terrible shoe haul is this one. Yay! <laughs> so it is Kate Ferguson brand. It is the right size this time. They sent me a six. It was so comfortable. I mean, this is a really comfortable shoe when I put it on. And if they sent me the right size and all of them, they would probably all be really comfortable. At any rate, um, yeah. So it has that first situation happening again. And then they did this little pop of gold right here. I really like that. Kind of a cool element, but otherwise it's a plain black shoe. There's nothing exciting about it. They just added some fur and a little gold detail. So, I mean, this isn't my best grand finale shoe that you've ever seen. I will definitely wear them. The heel height is five and a half inches. So, I mean, that's okay. It's not excellent, but you know what? I'll take it. So overall, this is the best shoe out of all the shoes that I got. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell how excited I am, right? why I keep smiling. <laughs> All right, let's jump into my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so no surprise that I'm extremely disappointed with this purchase. Six out of the 11 pairs I'm not going to keep. They're not wearable for me. And then two pairs out of the five pairs that I'm going to keep are the wrong size. So overall, this was a terrible experience for me. I will probably most definitely not do this again, especially not from this seller. So yeah. At any rate, I will link in the description box below where I did buy these shoes from, just in case anybody's interested in getting a wholesale lot from the seller. Just keep in mind that a lot of my shoes came in damaged and they sent two in a size that I did not request. So just keep all of that in mind. But if you're getting a mixed size lot and they're picking the sizes, then that's not a concern for you. And if you're specifically buying them for resale. I just want you to keep in mind that mine came in damaged. Just saying. So, um, as far as me selling the shoes go, I have decided that I think the best avenue for me to sell them on would be Poshmark. I've never sold on Poshmark before, but it appears that you can get a little bit more for things than you can on eBay because I priced the Celeste shoes in the exact styles that I have on eBay and they were running about $18, including shipping. That included the shipping. <laughs> I would be losing money because I paid $11.12 for the shoe and shipping runs about, I don't know, depending on where you're going to ship them to. It could be anywhere from six bucks to 12 bucks. So yeah, got to keep all that in mind. So on Poshmark, the Celeste shoes were running about $40 to $45. So I'm thinking that I can safely list mine at a profit maybe at $20. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I don't want to go too high, especially because some of them are damaged. So I definitely don't want to go too high. I just want to make a little bit of money possibly and uh, get rid of shoes that I'm not going to wear. So I'm definitely going to go that avenue for the Celeste style shoes, as well as the Taylor says. I ran into the same situation. On eBay, they were running about $25, some including shipping and some plus shipping. So I don't know, it was all over the place there. But again, on Poshmark, they were running about 40 to $45. And then, of course, you have to pay the shipping costs. So I'm going to go ahead and list all the shoes that I don't want on Poshmark. I will include my Poshmark link below in case any of you are interested in the shoes that I got here today. So, and if you're interested in some of the pairs that I'm keeping, I might be a little flexible on selling them. Just get a hold of me because <laughs> I definitely was not excited about um, any of them, really. So, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. But I've decided to keep five pairs and uh, two of the five need tweaking in order for me to be able to actually wear them comfortably. <laughs> oh, this was just not a good lot. Okay. So I'm going to quit talking about how disappointed I am with this because I'm sure you guys are already well aware. But I do hope that you find this, find this video helpful or useful in some way. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. 
click the notification bell, like, share, do all those things to help other people find this channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! What's up gorgeous people? It's it! <laughs> and then I spit again. I spit and then I spit again. Oh my gosh. What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is yes. Is yes. It is yes. Again. <clears throat> I feel like there's one piece of hair. And there is. Like, look. What is it doing? I can't, like, make it stay down. I think that's good enough. <laughs> I have been taking you guys on this little bit of a roller coaster ride with these mystery boxes. And I did the roller coaster too soon, so it looks stupid. I gotta do it again. <laughs> what? Gorgeous people! Again? <laughs> okay, so this. Oh, you should fix your hair before you record. Bella. Red. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that back down, but I will definitely let the seller know that I did that. The seller? I'll be the seller. That doesn't work. Uh, but after I put it on, it was really super comfortable. And then we have some really um, pretty. They're not pretty. Right, all right. At any rate, the first pair that, uh, I don't know what size it is.